Hello, mini nukes, and welcome to the final episode of Detroit Become Human. The last episode was the last last episode. I mean, um, that was actually supposed to be the final episode I did, um, and it was because that episode and this episode were actually filmed in one go. But because it was so long, it would have been like two hours if I added the bit where I talked about the game at the end. It would have come up to about two hours, and that's far too long. So I thought I should cut it in half. This is the last episode. I've done it. We've done it. We've gone through this journey together. This is the final stretch now, and it's gonna be an emotional one. Like this is your warning. There are feels. I don't. I mean, I don't know if you guys will cry, but I certainly cried a lot. There were so many feels. I I don't know. I don't know what it is about this game. This is the last game that I expected to make me cry as much as it did, but it did. So be be prepared for that. It gets emotional. Um, and I just want to remind you guys that this is obviously a game of different choices. There is no right or wrong path. So if you're not happy with the decisions that I've made throughout this playthrough, then go and play the game for yourself, honestly, because there's so many different ways of going about things and it it, it it really takes away the fun if you guys complain about certain choices that people make because at the end of the day, it's just a game of choices for a reason. There is no right or wrong path, so just enjoy this episode. I know it gets really emotional, but um, just enjoy it for how beautiful this game is. It's just, it's fantastic. So just enjoy the episode and yeah. Gotta finish the barricade. Come on, help me. Hey, help me! That should do it. We all know that's not gonna stop them. Just hope it buys us some time. I know it was not an easy decision to make, but I'm sure we're doing the right thing. North better love me after this. Send a message to journalists, support your people. Multiple things to do. Okay. Okay, multiple things. Multiple things. Many of our people have fallen. The humans have no pity for those who are different. That wasn't really much support, I just knelt and then, yeah. <laughs> ah, this again. Ah, oh, North. This won't hold on for long, but I guess it's better than nothing. Love me, North. Love me. They're getting into position. If they attack, no one will survive. I hoped they would finally understand. That they would realize how much they're hurting us. Why do they refuse to see what we are? 
You're the hope of our people. I trust you. We all trust you. No matter what happens now, we're making history. Come on, North, love me. Love me, North. <laughs> For goodness sake. Marcus, we found what you asked for. There's some journalists over there. We have to make sure they know what's going on. Okay, support your people. Who else is in need? What's up there? More things around here. Wait, what? Oh, okay. Marcus! Oh, Marcus, come what? look! Oh, Marcus! God. Come to talk to you, Marcus. Oh, gosh. Come on. You have my word. We won't try anything. Don't go. It's a trap. They want to get you out in the open. Don't go, Marcus. I'm Do I have a choice? Marcus. I just want to talk. Oh, I have a choice? I have nothing else to say. Free our people, then we'll talk. I came here to negotiate, isn't that what you want? Oh gosh, no, refuse. I gave you my answer. You wanna play it like that? No, don't. Okay. No, please don't. Humans are about to launch an attack. And we will show them. And we are not afraid. If we must die today, then we will die free. Your friend's life is in your hands. Now it's time to decide what matters most. Oh my goodness. Him or the revolution? Don't no. listen to him. Everything this fucker says is a lie. I used to be just like you. I thought nothing mattered except the mission. But then one day I understood. Very moving, Connor. But I'm not a deviant. I'm a machine designed to accomplish a task, and that's exactly what I am going to do. If I surrender, how do I know you won't kill him? I'll only do what is strictly necessary to accomplish my mission. It's up to you whether or not that includes killing this human. Enough talk! It's time to decide who you really are. Are you going to save your partner's life? Or are you going to sacrifice him? <sighs> all right. All right. You win. What?
Wait, Better who's who? Manage without you. Get rid of him. We have no time to lose. <sighs> it's me, Hank. I'm the real Connor. One of you is my partner. The other is a sack of shit. <laughs> Question is, who's who? Oh shit! What are you doing, Hank? I'm the real Connor. Give me the gun, and I'll Don't take care move. of it. Don't move. Why don't you ask us something? Yes. Something only the real Connor would know. Please. Make his dog's name. Uh, where did we first meet? Jimmy's bar. I checked four other bars before I found you. We went to the scene of a homicide. The victim's name was Carlos Ortiz. That's not personal. He That's not pers my memory. That's not personal enough. Shit. What's my dog's name? Sumo. His name is Sumo. I knew that too. Bollocks. <laughs> My son, what's his name? Cole. His name was Cole. And he just turned six at the time of the accident. It wasn't your fault, Lieutenant. A truck skidded on a sheet of ice and your car rolled over. Cole needed emergency surgery, but no human was available to do it. So an android had to take care of him. Cole didn't make it. That's why you hate androids. You think one of us is responsible for your son's death. Cole died because a human surgeon was too high on red ice to operate. He was the one that took my son from me. Him in this world where the only way people can find comfort is with a fistful of powder. I knew about your son too. I would have said exactly the same thing. Don't listen to him, Hank. I'm the one who- oh. That scared me. Yeah, I've learned a lot since I met you, Connor. Maybe there's something to this. Maybe you really are alive. Maybe you'll be the ones to make the world a better place. Go ahead, do what you gotta do. Let's do this again. Wake up! Connor has the Jesus touch. Oh. Okay. Thanks to Detroit River. Delaware. This better work. This better damn work. see you? No, no, no. I, I don't think so. You got the money? Yes. Here it is. Okay. Your boat's over there. They got border patrol on the banks and the river. Take don't start your food. engine until you're out. Oh. Far enough. Okay? And watch the current. Good luck. I couldn't understand why my mother wanted to help you guys. Seeing what Marcus is doing made me realize she was right. You're alive. You deserve to be free. Damn right. I just hope people will realize that one day. Say 
goodbye to Rose. Not even a half a mile to the other side. Okay, so it shouldn't take that long. Be careful, there's border patrol on the river. Thank you so much, Rose. I only wish I could take you myself. I don't like leaving you out here. Goodbye, Atlas. Hey, you take good care of yourselves. Okay, I'll see you on the other side. Okay, help us to get on board. Okay. Oh, oh other side. Wait, what's that here? What's what's there? What, what what's this? Oh. Freedom is just across the river. Not fall in. Our bio components will freeze. Thanks for the information, Looper. <laughs> okay, let's uh, let's get on. Let me help you. Bushboat. Okay. Oh. Come on, Luther. Use those muscles. Those the Android muscles. <laughs> Enough out. Let's get that engine going. I'll get it. You okay, Alice? When we get on the other side, there are so many things I want to do. I want to read all the books in the world. Play music and dance. We can do anything you want, right? We'll be free. Yes. We can do it all. We'll be like a family. We won't have to be afraid anymore. There won't be anybody giving us orders. No masters, no, no slaves. We'll start a new life. A life of freedom. What about you, Kara? What will you do? What will I do? Um... Dreamy. I'll lie down in the grass and watch the clouds drift by. I should have inspected the other things. Shit. My bad. Oh gosh, I hope there's a cut. You alright? No. You'll be okay, Alice. It's it's nothing. 
We'll get you taken care of as soon as we're across. You'll be fine. They killed him! They killed Luther! side before we sink. We're gonna die, Alice. We're gonna make it. We're gonna be free. Interrupting this news bulletin to bring you the latest news live from Detroit. Joss? Yes, Michael. The army has just launched an attack on the barricade, despite the fact that the Deviants were protesting peacefully. Have apparently decided to put an end to the Deviants demonstration by force this time. Michael, back to you in the studio. W w w wait a minute. Something's happening. Hold on, 
just a little while longer. Hold on just a little while longer. Hold on just a little while longer. Everything will be all right. Everything will be all right. Fight on just a little while longer. Fight on just a little while longer. Pray on just a little while longer. Incredible. Everything the, the deviants. The deviants are singing. to stand down. It looks like... Yes, the military is withdrawing. At dawn today, November 11th, 2038, thousands of androids invaded the city of Detroit. According to our sources, they originated from CyberLife warehouses believed to have been infiltrated by deviants. Given their overwhelming numbers and the risk of civilian casualties, I have ordered the army to retreat. The evacuation of the city is underway at this very moment. In the coming hours, I will address the Senate to determine our response to this unprecedented situation. I know that public opinion has been moved by the Deviants' cause. Perhaps the time has come for us to consider the possibility that androids are a new form of intelligent life. One thing is certain. The events in Detroit have changed the world forever. May God bless you. And may God bless the United States of America. You did it, Marcus. We did it. This is a great day for our people. Humans will have no choice now. They'll have to listen to us. Today, our people finally emerged from a long night. From the very first day of our existence, we have kept our pain to ourselves. We suffered in silence. But now the time has come for us to raise our heads up 
and tell humans who we really are. Amanda? Amanda! What's... What's happening? What was planned from the very beginning? You were compromised and you became a deviant. We just had to wait for the right moment to resume control of your program. Resume control? You, you can't do that! I'm afraid I can, Connor. Don't have any regrets. You did what you were designed to do. You accomplished your mission. Amanda! There's got to be a way. What? humans who we really are to tell them that we are people too in fact we're a nation oh no Connor no go this way touch this thing touch it Forget our bitterness and bandage our wounds. Or we forgive our enemies. Humans are both our creators and our oppressors, and tomorrow we must make them our partners. Maybe even one day our friends. But the time for anger is over. Now we must build a common future based on tolerance and respect. We are alive, and now we are free.
Wait, 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 what? I'm so, I'm so confused. I'm so confused. No, what the hell? Like, what? <laughs> I don't even know. I don't, I don't know. For goodness sake. Okay, so... I don't know what what you'd classify that kind of end as. I mean, I guess it all went right apart from Kara. Good grief! Okay, this music is getting too dramatic for my liking. Please let me. Oh, I can't skip it, so I guess I'm just gonna have to let it play out. What the hell did I do? I messed up. I really messed up. I don't know if on the boat, because I just I didn't bother checking the other things. I don't know why. I panic. I always panic at those moments, and yeah, I probably could have still saved us. But I didn't because I'm stupid. This game. <laughs> I don't even know how to, uh, how to process. Music, please. Enough with the being dramatic. I really messed up, didn't I? I really messed up. We've got makeup all over my face, which is brilliant. Really, really nice. Yep, lovely. <laughs> okay, well, I don't, I don't... What kind of end would you consider that? I don't know. I don't feel like that's a very good end at all for, for either of them. Like. Stop crying. <laughs> oh 
Oh gosh. <laughs> okay. I don't even want to look at this. <laughs> I really don't. An army of me. Moral victory. My turn to decide. Oh gosh. This is my story. Okay. Undefeated. Okay, what the, what are all these trophies? Partners? Oh gosh. So many trophies. Is that it? All the trophies. Are we done? Okay, we're done. I should probably go and clean up my face, but I won't bother. <laughs> okay, well this is... Ugh. Okay, let's just have a look at this, I guess. Um, hold stats. Public opinion supportive in the end. Leader Jericho. Uh, North was a companion, Josh companion, Zion companion, okay. Neil, 12% did that, whereas, okay. And use abandoned car, 50, miss some stuff here. 11% refused to negotiate, oops. 52% soldiers attack barricade. Defending the barricade, 52%. Save fleeing androids, 50%. Marcus is cornered. North, Josh, and Simon join him. Soldiers raise weapons. Sing, 17%. Public reacts to androids last hand, 46%. Persistent orders, soldiers. Pr president, sorry. President orders soldiers not to shoot, 44%. Androids won freedom for the moment, 44%. For the moment, wait, what? Okay. Connors. Wait, Connor, Connor didn't have one? Oh, probably because Connor did something different. Oh my goodness. Good grief. Wait, what? Oh, now this is Connors. Oh, okay. Cyber life. Okay, I see. Attack guards. Neutralize guards. Hack elevator. Copy guard's voice. Redirect elevator. Okay. Uh huh. Counter functional. Eliminate guards. Initiate android conversion. New Connor has Hank hostage. Stop conversion to save Hank. 58%. Draw gun, 37%. Both Connor shoot, 37%. Connor's fight, Connor's draw, <laughs> Hank grabs gun, Hank asks about his dog's name, sumo, 53%, Hank asks about his son's name, 52%, Hank kills new Connor, 52%, whoa, gosh, he could have killed me, resume conversion, the androids woke up, oh, good grief, okay, oh, I don't even want to look at cars, <sighs> I really messed up, big time, Big times. This is why I have to. F I can see myself. I've got makeup all over my face and the camera, but oh well. Yeah, I think this calls for a redo at some point. I don't know when. Don't know if you guys would be interested in watching me play through this game again, but I'm I'm not really happy at all. Okay, find a gun. Seventy nine percent. Hide from it. Okay, Luther saved in crossroads. Okay, nice. By Luther and Jerry. Save Luther. Grab rock. Jerry flees and Luther joins it. Okay. Continue to bust terminal security. Okay. Take detour 19%. Which would have. Whoa. I, whoa, that was a lot here. And instead, delayed. Late for bus 9%. Late bus departs. Find Adam. Find a way to the good grief. Get in Rose's car at the... Oh, goodness me, what could have got... That so much shit could have gone up up here. Oh, good grief. Okay. Check river temperature. 
observe Canadian skyline, talk to Adam, talk to Rose, talk to Alice. Accelerate fourteen percent. I didn't I didn't look at the other options. Wait, this would have happened anyway? So there would have been one thing here, and then this happens anyway? Luther died, twenty percent. Alice is injured ninety percent. Oh my goodness. Cast Luther away, dispose of oh. Boat light and dispose of engine dive. Each kind of jump. Oh, good grief. Alice is damaged and shuts down. Continue living. What does that symbol mean? Not required for completion. 16%. Alice died and Kara continued the line. Oh, I could kick myself right now. I could really kick myself right now. Yeah, well, she wasn't part of this, so... Oh, whoa, what is all this? What is all this? I already looked at Marcus's, didn't I? No? Okay, he doesn't have any of this. This is a different ones. These are different ones. Okay, well... Um... Okay, uh... Yeah. I don't really know how to explain anything and well looking at the time it is it is currently 5 30 in the morning yes I had to stay up let my camera recharge because it was running out of battery I had to do that twice uh, yeah so you know what I'm probably gonna Probably gonna go to bed and uh, I'll come back to this the next day. So I'm still processing everything and it's kind of hard to do that when you're tired and just been crying constantly. <laughs> this game is... <laughs> okay. I'll be back. I have returned. Not really sure why I was up until 5.30 finishing the game, but it happened. Um, but obviously I was very emotional, I was very tired, so the last thing I want to do is talk about the game and try and explain what the hell just happened when I am tired and sad, so yeah. <laughs> but um, it's actually good that I'm now a few days on talking about it because I've actually gone through all of the episodes that I did to find the points and things that I wanted to talk about um, because I feel like this game deserves me talking about it since I was so hyped about it, it would be really stupid if I just ended the episode without saying much about it at all. So to begin with I just want to say this game has completely blown me away it, it's honestly it's crazy I I remember when I first saw the tech demo um, seeing the bit with Kara in in her in that facility where she was being created I remember how blown away I was from the graphics back then because it was pretty damn good that demo was from 2012 and I remember seeing it and I was I was completely shocked by how amazing it looked and the finished game is now so much better looking than back then and and yeah I, rem I remember seeing the tech demo and and obviously we didn't know that it was connected to anything it was just a thing it wasn't it wasn't about anything else it was just a thing that they made and then back in 2016 I think for E3 is when the first Detroit trailer that came out that had Connor in it and I remember seeing it as soon as it came out and I was so damn excited and that was the first moment that I fell in love with Connor I didn't know much about the game at all obviously it didn't give away too much but it looked really cool and I remember how how handsome I thought Connor was and I just knew that I wanted to play that game as soon as it came out even if it probably wasn't going to be the kind of game that I thought I would like it just looked really cool and instantly fell in love with my cinnamon roll <laughs> so 
yeah, this game has amazed me. 100%. It's... I, I didn't... I mean, I didn't have any expectations for it. I thought it was going to be a very good game, but I didn't know it was going to be this good. Like, this is incredibly detailed and, and beautiful, and there are so many different outcomes, possibilities, and, and, and endings. And it's, it's, it's just, it, it's crazy. They put so much time and effort into this game. It's, <laughs> I can't, I, I love it. It is now one of my favorite games of all time, for sure. It's just fantastic. Quantic Dream have done such an amazing job on this game. I, th this was the last game that I would expect to make me so emotional. I didn't think it was the kind of game that was capable of having feels. Obviously, I didn't know that the story was going to go the way it did. And it, I was it also, I was so quick to get attached to the characters. More so Connor and Marcus than I did Kara. Um, I still loved Kara, of course, but Connor was the main one for me. And then Marcus was like just behind him. Um, but I got so attached to them so quickly. And that's probably why I got so emotional. Because, you know, when you play a game... I'm, I'm, I'm assuming you guys know what I'm uh, talking about. You know, when you play something and you just get attached to those characters, like you might do in The Last of Us, for example, and 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 it just gets you so emotional, um, because you feel like you've gone on this this long journey with the character, and then and then it comes to an end. Even if the story has a happy ending. It still gets it gets quite it, it makes you well up really because it's like you're saying goodbye to this person and 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 you don't want to see them go and 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 you've had such an amazing experience with them it's it's almost like real life really except they're just pixels on a screen <laughs> I can't really say I have any flaws with it if I really thought about it then maybe but I just I just can't I can't criticize this game I can't I can't critique it in any way and that's not just because I do love the game that I'm not going to say anything bad about it. I just, I can't really think about it. Also, I find that I, it's like the same thing with movies. When you watch something and you know it's really bad, it doesn't mean that I will dislike it. I, I might know that it's not necessarily like Oscar standard movies, but I'll still enjoy them. I will still appreciate them. That's the same with, with games. You can, you can tell if something is not really all that great, but it's just fun and you can learn to appreciate it. So that's probably why I don't I don't have any bad points to say about games specifically. Unless something like The Last Guardian that obviously had a lot of problems with the controls and camera angles. I mean, those were obvious, but it was still a fantastic game. The, actually, no, maybe this when, if you guys remember when I was trying to hide the evidence that Rose's house and Luther got discovered because I wanted to close the curtains in that thing that they were hiding and I went to go and close it and then suddenly the option disappeared. That was a little annoying, but I'm not gonna like blame blame the game for, for that really. I mean, I probably should have hurried up with um, <laughs> hiding all the evidence, but obviously I didn't. So, um, but apart from that, it's just amazing. Honestly, just fantastic. I, I can't stop saying the same words over and over again, but I don't know how else to explain my love and appreciation for for this game. It's fantastic. It really is. So I decided to go through all my episodes and just pick out different points that kind of stood out to me or made me quite emotional. So number one, we've got the bit where Marcus does painting. So to begin with, Carl asks him to paint something. And as Marcus, you're given the choice to paint three things and and, and it's going to be a perfect copy. But when Carl then asks him to close his eyes and just let his imagination run, it's quite strange that because to me, I thought only deviants could kind of think for themselves. And Marcus wasn't a deviant then. So as to how he managed to paint something completely from his thoughts and feelings it was quite interesting to me um, and I suppose that's why people say that Marcus is RA9 because even though he we physically saw him become deviant later on in the game th that could suggest that he might have already been 
a, a little bit different from from the other androids and a different just not following his program as such i don't really know um but it was just amazing to to watch that sequence because you could pick whatever you wanted to paint you didn't know what the outcome was but you can pick what you wanted and it was just amazing to see that marcus had painted something different and it it was like the first time that you kind of felt sympathy towards the androids that's how i felt from seeing that. It made me feel for these androids, even though in that point of the game we're not getting into anything too serious just yet. So, plus the, the music that they used for that bit was beautiful. The soundtrack for this game is also just beautiful. It's amazing. It's 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 just full of emotions and 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 drama and and it's, it's just really epic. And it's sometimes it's got these Blade Runner vibes that I really like. It's not copying as such, it's just, it's it's really cool. It's Blade Runner-esque and I really do like it. So then we had the bit with Kara where she breaks through her programming. Like that was amazing. I didn't know there was such a thing where androids could break out of their programming like that. I didn't think we were gonna physically see that, but we did. And we actually, it was interactive as well, which made it even better. It made it that bit more epic. And it was so cool to see that, that we could just break through our programming like that and become a deviant. And that was really, really cool. So then as, as Kara, th this is the first time we see this happening. And my bad, because from what I did, it led to, to Todd getting shot and he didn't have to die. But because in that situation where I wasn't allowed to move, I didn't know I could still move. I thought that if I did move, that Todd w was gonna kill me. And I didn't want Kara to die. I thought that Todd could actually break me again. So I didn't I didn't want that to happen. So that's why when I saw him removing his belt to go upstairs and whip Alice with it, I thought, okay, no, I have to see if I can move. And yeah, so <laughs> I did that. Um, and then and then you get the thing where you break out of your programming and I was just like, oh, I should have done this so much earlier, <laughs> but I, I, I didn't. But it was still cool to see that either way. Now, the first time that I cried, as if you guys saw, was when Marcus pushed Leo over and I thought Leo died then. He didn't, he was just unconscious, but it looked like he died. And I think at that point, I really, really felt bad for androids because Marcus had just become deviant and he did something that he obviously didn't mean to do. Just at that moment, Carl being so upset about it and he was crying and 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 Marcus just, I felt like Marcus was kind of losing his mind just then because he, he, I suppose he didn't really understand what he was, what he was doing or what he was thinking or anything like that. And, and I just felt really sad because he had a really good life with Carl. He, he wasn't abused or anything like that. Carl treated him like a son. And from that, he just basically lost it all. And I couldn't help but feel really sorry for him. So then from Marcus pushing Leo over and then the cops arrive and they shoot him in the eye, just like I predicted. We then see him in the junkyard all broken. And that really broke my heart. I, again, I cried at, at the end when you see Marcus all becoming rebellious. Um, but it was really sad because Marcus did have it all. He had a really good life and it, it just it just all went crashing down and, and I, I just felt so sorry for him. And seeing all the other broken androids in the junkyard just, just made me feel really sympathetic towards them. Then we have Connor and Hank those those two i i love them so much they are like the best duo i've ever seen in a video game and you have the power to obviously make that really bad you can have such a horrible relationship with connor and hank which i have seen in other youtube videos i don't know why anyone would want to do that Obviously, if you want to get different trophies and things like that, and you want to play the game differently, that's fine. But the best relationship to have is a good one with Hank because it's just the best thing. They're just they're just such buddies, and and even though it gets it, there's awkward conversations and it gets a little cringy at times, but that's what makes it so adorable and so and so awesome and cute. And and the the bit where Connor is talking to Hank about his dog and and the music he likes, and Connor saying, "I like dogs," and 
he likes Hank's music. It was just so cute. This, the way that they built those two characters, just they just clicked so well. Just the script that they had for those two, and, and just the way they bonded was just the best thing. It really was. And I'm so I'm so happy. I'm so happy that they're they're, they're good buddies, especially like we saw at the in that end scene. It's so cute. And the bit where Connor discovers Hank at his house and he's all unconscious, that made me laugh so much. You as you guys saw, I, I it just it was so hilarious. Those two are like the best. They are the best. Then we have that bit with Alice and when she's riding the carousel and at that time I didn't know that she was an android. We thought that w w she was human. Well, I thought she was human anyway. I don't know about you guys, but um and it was just so it was so nice to have to have this pure moment i really love it when games throw in these moments that kind of distract you from the the main the main story that can at times be you know quite stressful and and hectic so it's just kind of a nice thing to throw in to calm you down and relax you sometimes and 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 that scene with alice on the carousel where she was all happy and and, and the music was was so emotional it was just such a nice moment just to just to see alice being being happy for once and and we weren't worrying about anything else really it was just i was in that moment and it was just really sweet and and, and touching <laughs> this game is full of so many feels so we all know that the bit where marcus was marching in the street with the other androids and chanting things and it all ended really badly. We all know that that really pissed me off but to begin with it was another beautiful moment that this game gave us. It was really cool to see these androids all gathered together not being violent not doing anything but just chanting these things together at the same time it was like a really epic moment even though there was no like fight scenes or anything it was just them marching along it was like a really nice touching moment and at that point i knew that anything that was going to happen that involved the death of androids or killing androids i knew that i was gonna get emotional and um as we saw when the army arrive and tr try to stop the demonstration and, and, and shooting some of us and we I decided to run away like the coward I am um, and and they were getting shot it was it made me so angry I thought this is this is wrong these poor androids uh, are, are feeling emotions and aren't being violent and, and and they get shot at for for no reason when we weren't doing anything they said it was an illegal gathering but that doesn't mean that they should shoot us if we were running away, uh, walking away and then running. I think we all know from very early on I started to feel a lot of sympathy for the androids and, and that kind of was the breaking point for me when they just shot them just like that. I, 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 I got so angry. <laughs> so angry. <laughs> then you have the bit with Connor and Hank getting kicked off the case and when Fowler said that Connor was going back to cyber life I, it, it like broke me inside my heart broke you guys know how much I love my cinnamon roll Connor I was just thinking poor Connor we that we were doing so well to to try and I mean we I didn't really want to find out where Jericho was and everything like that because I did I wanted to to help the androids but we had to do it anyway but I felt really bad because Connor and Hank were they were such good buddies and then and then and I thought oh no that, that's it Connor's getting sent back um and I thought that it might have been to do with something that I did earlier because people said that Amanda can actually remove Connor from um, from the case or something like that. So I thought that that was it. I th I thought that was it. That game over. Connor and Hank aren't, aren't going to be seen anymore. Or aren't going to be um, well, not 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 seen anymore. But um, things were just going to go downhill from there. And I got really upset. <laughs> and then Hank helps out by starting an argument with Perkins and beating the shit out of him was honestly I wanted to watch it I really wanted to watch but obviously I was being timed to go and find the evidence and 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 find out where Jericho was but that was just so good I, I I can't get over how amazing this game is and how amazing the characters are and then Connor becomes deviant and I just it, it mended my heart again I just I felt so happy because I really wanted Connor I was just waiting 
for for the moment where con where it was Connor's turn to become deviant. Deviant Connor is the best Connor. I've seen things that Connor does when he remains a machine, when you don't choose to let him become a deviant, and he is a dick. <laughs> Connor is just not nice when he's a machine. Him becoming a deviant was honestly one of the best things I've ever seen. <laughs> I was so proud. I'm so proud of my cinnamon roll. So then we have Marcus demonstrating for the second time towards the end when things start to wrap up, and, and then they... Um, they start walking forward and then they get shot at again. And again, I, I something snapped in my head. I thought, no, 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 this is, this is wrong. This is so wrong it, it, because it, it's, it's almost like killing real people. They are, they are androids. They, they, they look like humans. They feel like humans, not like that. As in they, f <laughs> they have emotions like humans. <laughs> um, and it, it was just like watching innocent people die for no reason and even though they are androids it's, it's just like they were innocent people and then you had the option to to sit on the floor or raise your hands or whatever and i chose to kneel and and watching them all kneel at the same time it was such a touching moment this game is so full of, of precious moments moments that just make you want to cry all the time and and i can't get over how beautiful this game is and i really hope that the most of you agree with me that this is a beautiful game. It is just amazing. It really is. Then we have the bit where Connor is in the Cyberlife Tower and then we discover there is another Connor who is holding a gun to Hank's head and that was pretty scary because there was another Connor but he obviously wasn't the good Connor. He was the bad Connor. Um, and when I was given the decision whether I was I would save Hank or sacrifice him, sometimes these decisions you don't know what they're gonna lead to because I thought that maybe if I saved Hank, that something really bad would happen with the Jericho people and Marcus because I don't know I just I just thought that it was either I thought at that moment it was either save Hank and let the others die or don't save Hank and the others will live. That's what I thought in my head. So I don't know if you saw, but I, I started crying then as well. I got really emotional. I thought, no, you can't do this to me. You can't make me decide whether I want to keep Hank so that Connor and him can continue being best friends or sa sacrifice him so that we would save all of the Jericho people and the androids and everything. It's, it was, it was just too much. It was too much. I couldn't, I couldn't handle it. And this is a tough moment with uh, Kara, Alice and Luther on the boat. Uh, oops. <laughs> okay, I just want to make it clear with you guys because I feel like a lot of you might be angry at the fact that Alice and Luther died. But you got to remember, this is a blind playthrough. So by going to take the safer option, the safer detour that would take me to the bus terminal, even though I didn't have enough time. How was I supposed to know that that would take me to the situation where they go on the boat and it, it just, it doesn't end well for anyone. Basically everyone is doomed if I take that path. I didn't know, how was I supposed to know? Um, and I thought that by going through the checkpoint that I was, I, that it was, I thought it would, with the situation with Marcus and everything, because I had heard that it gets tough for Kara and Alice and Luther to get across to the border if things with Marcus and the others were not going so great. So I thought that if I went through the checkpoint, there was a very high, high risk that they would get caught. Or, or, or died on the spot, get shot at or something. I, I didn't know. So even though I didn't have enough time to take the safe detour, I thought that if I took the checkpoint that I could have died. So to me, safe means no death and risky means high chance of death. But I didn't know that the safe, safe detour would actually be the worst one. I had no idea. So, um, yeah, it sucks. It really sucks. <laughs> Going on on the boat, I thought we were, we we could have made it. I still thought we could have made it and then and then the patrol boat comes round and 
they shoot the other people on the boats and then I've got the options there's like a, f a few seconds counting down and I've got different options to choose from but for some reason in my mind when I'm being counted down to pick different options in my mind I think you know what don't use the time that you have don't use that precious amount of time that you have to check all the other options and make sure that you pick the right one. Just pick the one that was closest to you. And for some reason I did that and I picked accelerate when I could have hidden or something or, or, or jumped in the water or whatever. I, I, I don't know what, sometimes my mind just, just, just doesn't work properly in, in really stressful situations. So that was really bad on my part. I, I, I accept, I accept that I murdered Alice and Luther. I can accept that. <laughs> I don't want to, but I can accept it. And I feel so incredibly bad. You saw, you saw how I was crying like a little bitch at that moment. Cause it was just so, it was so sad. I don't know if you guys want to know too much about the different options, but I'm just going to say this now. So spoiler alert, if you don't want to hear this, but when you're in that boat, Luther dies no matter what. Luther will not survive if you go through the boat, the boat uh, option, the boat way, to across the river. Luther will will not survive, either way. And I didn't know that. And then Alice, I think she can live, although the option that I picked meant that she got shot. So there was no way of Alice living there. There was no way that she could survive. I think she could survive if I did different options, like hide or something. But Luther dies either way, and I think Alice and Kara can still live. Or Kara can definitely still live, but Alice, uh, I'm not too sure, so. So then the boat is sinking, and, and I have to take off all the stuff that's weighing the boat down, such as Luther's body, and just pushing him off. Just, I, I felt like the shittest person ever. I, uh, <laughs> you can see by my reaction in the face cam anyway. You saw I was just crying my eyes out. I felt so incredibly bad. I felt like the worst human being ever, really. So you can't expect me to know in a blind playthrough what certain things lead to. I'm not gonna look up things and, and cheat. That's not what a blind playthrough is. So if you guys aren't happy with some of the decisions I made, I'm sorry, but <laughs> what do you expect from a blind playthrough? <laughs> you should play this game for yourself anyway, because it's fantastic and there's so many different outcomes. It does like 200 different endings. I don't know exactly, but I've seen it thrown around somewhere that there are like 201 different endings um, or, or outcomes most likely because of the different possibilities that there are a lot of endings, different combinations of endings really. So yeah. So as I was saying, <laughs> I'm sorry if I've, if I've done some decisions in this game that you guys aren't incredibly happy with, but not everyone's gonna think the same, not everyone's gonna think like you. So obviously there are gonna be different playthroughs doing different choices, but that's the beauty of it. That's the beauty of this game. You get to see other people doing different decisions. And so people might get some some people killed. So uh, please don't hate me guys, <laughs> please. <laughs> so yeah, the whole thing with Kara and Alice, um, I actually was quite confused at the time because when Car and Alice finally get off the boat and I wasn't too sure if Alice was gonna die there and then because I didn't see that there was a timer um it was like a 10 minute timer counting down for when she was gonna shut down I didn't s properly see that so I wasn't too sure when she said that she she needed to sleep that she was actually dying. I thought she actually was just gonna like snooze <laughs> for a little bit. I wasn't sure if that was her dying or if that was her just kind of needing to rest because they had gone through so much. And and then Kara is given the option to give up or keep living. And I pressed keep living because I thought that that meant that Kara and Alice were going to to carry on because you know sometimes you might just want to give up and, and not go any further because you know life gets you down and stuff and also I thought maybe Alice could have been fixed so I thought keep living meant that both of them were going to still be alive but I pressed keep living which meant that because Alice had died Kara is the one who's going to keep living 
and if I pressed give up, then Kara would have shut down as well. So it's hard. It's hard with this game because sometimes the options that they're not clear at all. You you kind of just you have to in your head you just kind of have to quickly try and guess what you think that they mean. But then again, that's good. Um, because you don't want things to be too obvious for you. You don't want things to be too easy. And then again, I did pick experienced over casual, which meant that I had more of a chance of getting characters killed and things being a little more complex for me. But then again, that that's the game for you. And, and I'm glad I, pick, I picked experienced, even though I'm not happy that Luther and Alice died, but that's the beauty of replaying a game. <laughs> And that's the beauty of a game that's got so many different outcomes and whatnot. <laughs> and then another beautiful moment in this game was when Marcus and the other androids started singing. I know I could have had the option to have Marcus and North kiss, but I hadn't got their relationship up to lover. Um, but I didn't know. I didn't. I, I had a feeling that maybe they, there could have been a romance between the two. I really wanted them to have a romance because I, I wanted Marcus to have someone. Because obviously Marcus is beautiful. But he needs a beautiful person with him. So North, yeah, I wanted those two to get it on. <laughs> Some of you were telling me that there was there were times where I could have brought their relationship up to lover i think there were only very few occasions where i could do that so for example when marcus and north were outside in that abandoned building or whatever and you had the choice to talk about north's past and i left it I and mean, i think that was an opportunity where i could bring it up to lover but i chose not to talk about about her past because when marcus first asked her back in jericho she didn't like that. She didn't want to. She didn't want to talk about it because she was a sex android. That's kind of a sensitive topic to talk about to someone. So I thought that by asking, it would have gone down again. <laughs> so I left it, and it went down because I didn't talk to her. So it's like, what the hell? <laughs> what do you want from me, woman? Do you want me to talk about your past or not? <laughs> but yeah, I, I went off there slightly. But yeah, the bit where they're singing was another beautiful and pure moment and it actually gave me goosebumps when I was listening to them sing all in all together. It was just it was just beautiful and and I I don't know. It's like sometimes I can't explain certain things. I just know that in my head they're beautiful moments and they make me really happy or, or sad or emotional and like I say all the time, this game is full of those moments and I'm so glad that there are those moments and I'm glad that I got very emotional from this game because I like it when games make me emotional. If, if a game can reduce you to tears, then that does say something and this game is one of those games. It's a very powerful game. I don't know in the future if we're ever going to see actual androids that are that advanced um, you know, I could be dead by the time that they do that. Um, it's kind of, kind of almost making you think about what you would do in the situation if this was in real life. It, it's, it's, it, it's a bit of a touchy subject, but it is interesting to know because something that seems to have emotions but is an android, is a robot that's programmed that way. It's, it's really hard. It's like in your brain, you, you, you think, oh, this person is acting just like a human, but they're actually just a machine. So it's, it's really strange. Um, so it's, it's kind of interesting to think about what I would do and what other people would do in a situation where these androids do gain feelings or become deviant. They're, they're not violent. Let's hope that they don't become violent if that ever does happen. Um, but it'd be interesting. It'd be super interesting. And then that last bit with Connor and Hank uh, after the credits when we see them hug was beautiful. It was honestly beautiful. You saw I cried again. <laughs> because Hank, just the way Hank hugged Connor was like, oh my god, son, come here, let me hug you. We've been through so much together. Even though you're my, you're not my real son, you're my robotic cinnamon roll deviant badass son. Come here and give me a hug. It was beautiful. It really was. I love their friendship so much. I love those two so much. They are the best. It took me a while to go through that list, but those were the majority of the things that really stood out for me. But this game 
as a whole just stands out to me. It's, it's just a fantastic game. And I keep saying that, I keep saying the same words all over again because, you know, my vocabulary is very limited. Um, no, but it is, it is a wonderful game. And like I say at the end of pretty much every game that I've played on this channel so far, I always urge you guys to play it for yourself because it's so different. It's so different to experience something for yourself rather than just watching it. Especially because there's there's the emotional attachment you have to characters. And when you're playing it for yourself, it's easier for you to think and feel certain things. Because you're playing the game from these different characters' point of views, it, it gives you a chance to connect with them and and think certain things. And you might not necessarily be able to do that as much if you were just watching someone play it. So by playing it yourself, your feelings and thoughts and emotions and whatnot are, are a lot stronger, in my opinion. So that's why I always urge you guys to play the games that I've played for yourself. Even if, you, even if you've watched me play it and, and you might know the endings and stuff like that, but this game has so many different endings, so you've seen my ending, but you're, you still don't know what the other endings could be like. That's if you haven't gone and searched it for yourself. But it's just yeah you just you have to play it you have to play it it's 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 awesome it's so good it's honestly it's become one of my favorite games of all time now it really has quantic dream you've done a fantastic job i've said that word a lot fantastic but it is fantastic so a few things that are quite unclear i think ra9 a lot of you said it was marcus i thought it was marcus also but they didn't really touch too much on that in the game I think we saw all this writing and, and, and talk about RA9 in the game, but then it wasn't really... We didn't really get a conclusion to that. And I think maybe that's because it was Marcus, because Marcus was the obvious one. Or the game hasn't told us because they just want to be mysterious or, or, or leave things to the imagination or, or whatnot. I don't know. but. It, yeah, it's, it's, I've I've heard some people say that RA9 is Connor as well. Um, I don't remember why they said that. I, I don't remember, but yeah, people have said that it, it can be Connor as well. Um, people think that it's it's not Marcus because Marcus is not the first to awaken. Marcus was not the first to become deviant. Um, but it's kind of, it's interesting. I I wonder because the game does start off with Connor we are playing as Connor, the first, this is the first android that we're playing as, so maybe it could be Connor because he is the first one that we played as and we decide what we do with him. But then again, it might not be him because RA9 is the person who is going to set the androids free and you can decide to keep Connor as an android, uh, as not a deviant, so he's not going to set anyone free <laughs> um, if he if if he is a machine. Um, so it, it's confusing. RA9 is still that is is still a bit of a foggy area um, for me. That is anyway. Some of you guys probably think you know who he is, and I'd I'd love to know. Um, there's probably going to be some kind of theories out there talking about who RA9 could be, or if you guys think that you've solved it. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I, for now, I think it is Marcus, but I, I like the idea that it might not be because that just makes it a lot more mysterious and cool if you think about it. And it'd be really cool if it was not, if it was not Marcus and it was Connor. That would be really cool. <laughs> I think Connor is probably the most complex character in that game, even though even though Marcus is leading this whole rebellion and and, and such, and Connor's not really doing much apart from trying to solve why androids become deviants and trying to put a stop to this deviant thing. I think Connor is probably the most complex character in this game and it's a shame because I wish once he became deviant we saw a bit more of deviant Connor but we didn't which is a little upsetting because Connor is my favorite character. Connor is definitely my favorite character. At first I couldn't choose between Connor and Marcus because they're both cinnamon rolls um, but I think from seeing the end of the game, I've now decided that Connor is my favorite character. He's like the cinnamon roll with the cherry on top, and Marcus is just a cinnamon roll. And and Kara and and Alice and and Luther are soft pretzels. That's what they are. <laughs> but yeah, RA9. 
Um, I'd be interested to know what you guys think in the comments. Um, who you think RE9 is and what your theories are on it. Because the game hasn't really cleared it up for us. So, unless they have and I'm just being stupid like I always am. <laughs> Another thing that the game hasn't really touched on too much is actually Kamsky. We know that he is the founder of Cyberlife and we only see him once in the game unless you get a specific ending which leads to a secret ending with Kamsky in it, which I have seen. Um, to me, I feel like Kamsky is a bit of a dark horse. Um, I feel like there are, people are saying whether he is a good guy or a bad guy and, and that he... All, all this all this deviancy commotion has gone on and he's kind of been untouched um, <laughs> and then some people saying that Kamsky is the one who put the deviancy virus in some of the androids or, or whatever that that he's he's the one who did this or that Kamsky's on no one's side it, it's really confusing he, he he's a bit of a confusing one to to analyze um i think i have seen a few videos on youtube where people are talking about kamsky and who whose side he's on and and, and how he plays into all this it's kind of difficult <laughs> he's such a mysterious character we only saw him the once and he was he was very odd when when we saw him so again do tell me in the comments what your thoughts and feelings are on kamsky ra9 and just the whole game in general. I'd love to know what you guys think about this game, who your favorite character was, your favorite moments. Like, let me know. I'd love to see what some of you guys think. This game, man, it's so complex, but it's so, so good. It's so good. So what I'm going to do, since, since I'm pretty happy with the playthrough, what I'm going to do is I'm going to replay from Marcus's speech. I'm gonna replay it from Marcus's speech and do a few things slightly differently, ever so slightly differently, just so I can get a different outcome that I am fully happy with. And I'm sure you guys would love to watch that also. Um, and who knows, maybe in the future, if you really wanna see me play it from the very beginning, I can do that and maybe do a bad playthrough. A really bad playthrough, even though I don't want to. I don't wanna, I don't wanna have to, let Connor remain a machine and and have a terrible relationship with Hank because it's not nice. <laughs> not deviant Connor is a dick, <laughs> and it, and it would make me so sad to see Connor and Hank not get along. It's really sad. <laughs> but in the future, if you guys would like to see me do that, I can do that. The first time I saw that trailer with Connor, a few years ago, I I knew that this game was going to be good. I didn't know how good though. And I've been so excited for it ever since. And I remember people would ask me, what games are you excited for? And I, I'd tell them, oh, that Detroit Become Human game looks really good. And they had no idea what I was talking about. <laughs> so I'm kind of I'm kind of happy that I was I was on board with this game since the beginning. I feel like this game is gonna have a special place in my heart. And it'll be really cool to look back on it several years from now and and know that I played this game when it came out and knowing about it so many years before and yeah it's just really cool <laughs> and my goodness am i gonna make my kids play this game my kids have to play this game 100 <laughs> percent, one of the best games i've ever played i i can't i can't really say much else about it it's it, it's just it's a beautiful game it is beautiful is so detailed so many different endings and whatnot and they've put so much time and effort into this quantic dream if any of you are watching this i want to thank you so much for making such a masterpiece this game is art literally art it's beautiful and thank you so much for making it i i enjoyed playing every single minute of it and i'm not gonna forget it and I urge you guys to get it. Go and buy it and play the shit out of this game because you're not going to regret it. You're not going to regret it. I'm really sad it's over though. I'm going to miss my little cinnamon rolls and my soft pretzels. More so my cinnamon roll with the cherry on top. I'm going to miss Connor so much. I love Connor. <laughs>
I, I love how awkward Connor is at times. If you see some of the things, like Connor's funniest moments and, and cute moments on YouTube, it's just, it's the, the greatest thing. Connor is honestly one of the greatest gifts that gaming has ever given us. In my opinion, that is. Connor is just amazing. But the actors, they did such a great job as well. Connor, Brian Deckard, Jesse Williams, Valerie Curry, I think her name is. Yeah, I think. They did such a good job. Um, Clancy Brown as well. Mr. Grabs, come on. He did a great job. <laughs> and and all the others. And and Luther. I really liked Luther's actor. He was really cool. I like, I like his accent. It's cool. From seeing some of the motion capture stuff that they do on these games and specifically on Detroit, I just really hope that someday I can do exactly what they do. I love nothing more than to do motion capture for video games and, and the voice acting. Like, I really want to do that stuff and I really hope someday I will get to. I really hope. Okay, I think I've rambled on long enough. This video is going to be far too much talking. <laughs> so do let me know in the comments what you think about the game, the characters, who's your favourite, um, some of the theories that you have on Kamski and RE9, your favourite moments. Let me know. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. If you enjoyed this playthrough, nuke that like button and if you haven't already then make sure you subscribe to the channel to see more content like this anyways guys thank you so much for watching this video and i'll see you all in the next one stay rad my friends bye